Well, hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my friends out there. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and hopefully today you are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. If you're watching it a little later, that's okay. But on Wednesday, March 17th of this year, we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I'm wearing my green. Hopefully you guys have got your green on and ready today too to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. On St. Patrick's Day, we celebrate everything that is Irish. So let me go to my screen here and I'll share it with you guys so we can talk about this stuff a little bit. All right, here we go. Like I said, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. I see all those four leaf clovers and I see all that, that gold. Now, you know, those leprechauns are out there looking for those gold coins and they love them. All right, so if you didn't know, on the screen, I have a picture of the country Ireland. Just like we live in the country of America or the United States of America, people who are Irish, they were originally from this country right here, Ireland. Yeah. So we celebrate all things that are Irish on today. So today let's do this vocal exploration first of this little leprechaun. We did this one before so you guys will know how to do it. I'll count you down and you go all by yourself. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Hey, good job to all of you guys. You're getting really good at these. Awesome. Let's look at another one. Now, I meant to bring my cat puppet today, but I do not have my cat puppet with me. So instead of me doing my cat puppet with you, that's okay. But we're not going to do it on ooh today. We're going to do it on meow. I'll help you with this first one. Four, three, together, now. Good job. All right. You guys are going to do the next one all by yourself. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Good job to all of you. You guys are really getting good at these vocal explorations. Awesome. All right, let's look at the next thing. Yeah, no. I have been trying to catch a leprechaun for years. I get a shoebox and I get a pencil and I get a string and I try and stay up and I try and pull it shut. I have never been able to catch a leprechaun. And maybe you guys will help show me how to catch a leprechaun today. I don't know. But this book will maybe help all of us figure out how to catch those leprechauns. So let's watch this book together and maybe after we're done, we'll know how to catch a leprechaun today. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome to Daba's Kids Reading Corner. Story time with my Daba. Today's story is How to Catch a Leprechaun. Written by Adam Wallace and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one. I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house. I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nets you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandy lion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. 
I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive two hundred years. You won't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha! Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough. I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun begone three thousand gave me quite a scare, but without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible. That's a fact. Unless one day. A brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. Awesome guys! Hopefully you enjoyed that Welcome story. Welcome oh, to not this one. Sorry. Hopefully you enjoyed that story of that leprechaun, and hopefully you guys maybe you'll be the one that can figure out how to make the leprechaun's trap. That would be awesome if you guys could figure it out. Now at the end of that song, I heard some Irish music, but I also started to hear some some feet tapping on the ground. So today I want to watch some Irish dancing. Now, this Irish dancing is really cool. It's from a series called River Dance. And I don't know if you've ever watched this before, but the people dance really, really fast with their feet. It's almost like tap dancing. So we're going to watch a little bit of this one today. I hope you enjoy this River Dance finale. Let's watch it together. Here we go.
awesome, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that river dance finale. You know, that was exactly like that leprechaun book, that music and everything, and that really fast dancing. I don't know if I can dance that fast. I don't think that I can. Maybe you guys can, but I don't think that I can. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, did you guys know that it's spring almost here? Yeah, just a few more days. March 20th is the first day of spring. So just a couple more days and we'll be enjoying some spring weather. Now also, if you didn't know, sometimes Irish folk music or Irish folk songs are always talking about beautiful green pastures and meadows and stuff like that. And there's all kinds of songs about that stuff. So today, I've showed this to you before, but I want to finish up today with the song Over in the Meadow. Here we go. Lived a bumpy mother toad and her little toady one. Wink, said the mother. I wink, said the one. So they winked and they blinked in the sand, in the sun. Over in the meadow where the sky gleams blue, lived the woolly mother sheep and her little lambs too. Ba, said the mother. Said the two, so they bowed and they ran where the sky gleams blue. Over in the meadow, in a hole in a tree, lived the smooth mother robin and her little robins three. Sing, said the mother. We sing, said the three. So they sang and they chirped in a hole in the tree. And her little muskrat's four Dived, said the mother We died, said the four So they dived and they burrowed In the reeds on the shore Over in the meadow In a snug beehive Lived the fuzzy mother bee And her little bees five Buzz, said the mother We buzz, said the five So they Over in the meadow, in a nest built of sticks, lived the shiny mother crow and her little crow six. Call, said the mother, we call, said the six. So they called and they called in their nest built of sticks. Is so even with the furry modern mouse and her little mousey seven. Squeak, said the mother. We squeak, said the seven. So they squeaked and they sniffed in the grass, soft and even. Over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived the scaly modern lizard and her little lizard's eight. Bask, said the mother. Said the eight, so they passed in the sun on the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow where the stream water shines, lived the slippery mother fish and her little fishes nine. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the nine. So they swam and they left where the stream water shines. Spider and her little spider's tail. Spin, said the mother. Spin, said the tail. So they spun lazy webs in their sly little den. Nice job. Well, hopefully you guys are having a great St. Patrick's Day, and hopefully you enjoyed that music class. All right, guys, I'll have to see you next time.
All right, bye.